orange. The color of fruit, vegetables, flowers, markers, and highlighters, toys, magic herb, and even my shirt. Yes, today we are continuing the single color art challenge with the color orange. Now before we continue, I would like to make you aware that at the time of this me recording this thing, it has been months since I actually recorded and edited the video that you are about to see. At the time of recording, I had a weird glitch happen with my mic, so about halfway through there is no sound, which caused me to procrastinate because that meant I would have to fill a voiceover and I just wasn't ready to do that and so here we are. With that, let's actually get going. So I suppose since I don't know where we're supposed to start, we're just going to start and just start with her shoulder blades. She's looking down at him, he's going to be like right here, he's picking her up. Earlier I mentioned that at the time of recording, I had a weird glitch happen with my mic, so about halfway through, there is no sound. Well, the 
Bart's actually coming back to bite me in the bum. Now we gotta start the voiceover. So, first up is the Neon Tombow Furunosuke. I used this pen to create a rim light effect around the characters. Unfortunately, this pen is so bright that it is generally useless anywhere else. I used these Artist Loft watercolor pencils next. The first one I used is the orange one, and I was able to use light pressure to create a skin tone. I then went over these with water to smooth them out. The Blick Studio markers are the third most used tool in this video. I started with burnt orange for the fine details. Next, I use spice to color his pants. I'm taking advantage of the incomplete blending of these markers to carve wrinkles into the cloth. I use the Artist Loft watercolor paints the most of any tool. You'll see me go back to these repeatedly throughout the rest of the video. The Dorian paint pen is darker than it looks. I used it for details and liner on lighter colors. Look, it's more watercolor! Look, 
it's the watercolor pencils again. This time I'm using the vermilion pencil. Apparently this is a type of red, but it looks orange to me. The organic vermilion watercolor stick. You can clearly see that the label lists the pigment as naphthol red. Whoops, still useful. Back to the watercolor! Here I'm using it to shade. I'm also fighting to fill in a weird spot on his vest. Not really sure what happened, but I'm going to assume that I was just too impatient. I also used it to detail his pants. The acrylics, they're both exactly the same. They're the same pigment, same dry time. There's, there's genuinely no, no difference between these. So I use them for the same thing. They're the same. More Derwin paint pin for more detail. For some reason I used my orange highlighter. I shouldn't have. It's not going to age well. I know it's not going to age well, but I used it anyway. Using the last two Blick markers. I don't know which colors I used because I didn't show myself the cap. I thought tissue paper would help add texture, but it just made the background into more of a solid blob of color. I'd like to play with tissue paper on its own in the future. Crayons are just a lot of fun to work with. I love adding rhinestones to my art. They're just a really fun way to add texture and interest.
Foam finally helped break up the background and add that texture that I had been looking for. And now I'm just adding a few more rhinestones. So, here we are! I had anticipated the background being more like different sections of material instead of stacking all of the materials on top of each other, but that's not what I did. I did this instead. With all of that being said, please feel free to leave a like on this video so that I know you liked it. If you didn't, you don't have to, but it'd be nice. Um, and if you have an idea for something that you would like for me to do that is beyond the literally thousands of video ideas that I have already, then leave a comment so that I know what you're thinking, because even though I'm an adult, I'm not telepathic. So if you want me to know what you want me to do, then, then leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel and share the video if you want other people to see it. If you think other people would enjoy this kind of thing. If not, then you don't have to. Just would be nice. It would boost my numbers beyond the 12 people that are currently watching my videos. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. No, 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 let's say that with while looking at the camera.